So, again, my role is that of local government, and collaboration is the way we're beginning to make things happen. How many of you heard the expression design with nature? About the same as Living Water Smart. That's, that's really great because a lot of people who are on the young, young side actually put their hands up because this is, this is uh, Ian McCard wrote the book back in 68, so that's over, that's over 40 years ago. But it's, an exp it's, a, it's a statement or a, a way of thinking that we in British Columbia have embraced. So if you, if you read any about the Water Sustainability Action Plan and the various partnerships, you will see that expression, a design with nature approach. So we're not fighting nature, but working with nature. And one of the things that we learned early in terms of how people respond to language is you got to really watch if your language is value laden. And so uh, one, of the, one of the things we did about five years ago was we basically translated Patrick Condon's eight principles into more user-friendly language where people, when they read about, okay, what does this mean to you? Here are the, here are the bullets, okay, develop, develop compact and complete communities. Well, you've all heard that, right? But it was as you move down the, down the, uh, the list, basically we made it more engineering-centric. But in doing that, it became more neutral, and we find that people don't, well, what we, what we, what we had found was, you may, some of you may be familiar a few years ago when Smart Growth published a document which basically uh, uh, said you should, everyone should live in high rises, not in, not in, not in, not in Chilliwack. And that antagonized a lot of people, which was a, which, which was a good example of why the choice of language is so important. Because if you want people to hear the message, and hopefully you're hearing my message, you want them to listen to the words and say, aha, I get it. You don't want them to push back. And what we have found is the use of design with nature, people just intuitively get it. And so when you talk about things like reusing and recycled water, energy, and nutrients from liquid wastes, they say, okay, that makes sense to me. Or protect and restore, protect and restore urban, uh, urban green space, yeah, that makes sense to me. And then, and then the next one that's really boring for Bill Reese, which is strive for a lighter hydrologic footprint. And that's the significance of soil depth and sustainability of supply and sustainability of aquatic habitat. Because if we strive for the lighter hydrologic footprint, then we will achieve higher levels of protection in terms of our watersheds. How's my time?